Welcome back to the channel. Today we are replacing Moen 1225 cartridge on a single handle kitchen faucet because it's been dripping water continuously. Before you start, make sure you shut the water off either from the shutoff valves underneath the sink or the main water to the house. To start, remove the faucet handle cap to expose the handle screw. A knife or a flat screwdriver works the best. Use an appropriate size Allen key to open the handle screw, which is 764. If your Allen key feels loose, a firm push will make it fit in. Once the screw is off, pull out the handle and remove the dome by unthreading. Now we are going to remove the handle adapter screw and remove the adapter along with the white plastic adjustable temperature pivot nut. Use an adjustable plier to unthread the cartridge retainer nut and remove the dewasher from the cartridge stem. In the next step, we are going to remove the old cartridge by removing the cartridge retainer clip. Use a flathead screwdriver to remove the clip. Once the clip is off, use a channel lock or grip wise to remove the cartridge or a Moen cartridge puller if you have it. Sometimes it's hard to remove the old cartridge. You might need to pull it hard, but be careful. You don't want to damage anything. If it's stuck, twist the cartridge a few times with the white twisting tool that came with the new cartridge to loosen it. Here we have a brand new 1225 Moen cartridge. To reinstall the new cartridge, make sure that the half moon ridges on the cartridge are just like this, in the front and back. Once the cartridge is pushed all the way inside the body, insert the retainer clip. If the retainer clip is not going in, use that white twisting tool that came with the new cartridge to adjust cartridge a little and try again. Do not force it in. Put the stem dewasher back and thread back the cartridge retainer nut. Once it's tight, install the white pivot nut back on. The half moon ridge on the nut stays in the front. Now put the handle adapter back by matching the shape of the adapter hole with the stem and tight back the screw. Once that is done, put the dome back. Now put the handle back on the handle adapter. Tight the screw and put back the handle cap. Turn on the water supply and check for leaks. That's all for today's video. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.